hey guys long time no see i know it's been a while since i did a video um i can't even remember how far back it was but i'm still getting situated as far as like trying to find a space to film without having to show like my whole entire space so um it will get better in time i'm hoping probably in the next couple of weeks that'll be taken care of but for now i really wanted to put out a video because i've had a couple of people asking me um to do kind of like a eyebrow tutorial so um that's what i did so this video is an eyebrow tutorial um basically just how i do my eyebrows on the everyday um how i done eyebrows on clients and you know friends and stuff like that so this is really quick and easy if you see that the video is like six or seven minutes long trust me it's not going to take you that long um unless you're like really precise and a perfectionist like myself usually it'll take me about maybe six to seven minutes to do uh, um, my eyebrows depending on how fast or where I'm going or how perfect they really need to look but um, definitely the uh, to do your eyebrows it does not take forever so you can do this if you're a mommy and if you are on the rush to go you know to work or drop your kids off and you know whatnot so um I hope you guys enjoy this video um, if you're interested in seeing how I do my eyebrows because they are really jacked up and I actually show you how jacked up my eyebrows are with no shame um, for some laughs please keep on watching I will talk to you guys very very soon Mwah. love you bye okay so being that this is mainly just an eyebrow um, tutorial I'm just gonna do a really close-up on my eyebrows so as you can see they are very very jacked up and the reason of that is because um, I think about three weeks ago I did my eyebrows and the lady actually made me 1920 eyebrows and they literally were like curved like this like around you so I basically had like gaspy eyebrows and I wanted to kill her so I have to um, let them grow which I've been doing I've been applying coconut oil every night and they're pretty good as you can see here like this is where she like this is what she left me with this this part right here so I'm gonna kind of do my camouflage so that they look normal again so I'm trying to get them back to the way they were which was thick and not this way so I'm gonna start with my um, my spoolie so I'm just gonna brush my eyebrows like this and just get them all in one direction um, one of the reasons why I'm doing this video is because a lot of my friends have been asking me how I do my eyebrows and they want to learn how to do their eyebrows so Denise and the other Denise and my former co-workers that asked me um, I guess this video is for you so um, I'm actually just going to draw a line right here. I'm waiting for my camera to focus. Can you focus? Alright, whatever. So I'm just going to draw, draw a line. I think I need a closer mirror. Hold on, do I have another mirror? I do. I'll use my bronzer. Let me back. Okay, there you go. My bad. Alright, so I'm just going to use my mirror here because I can't see from far. So I'm just going to draw where I want the line to end. Kind of like just line it up a little bit so it's not so jagged. And then I go back with my spoolie. And it's going to seem like it's a lot of work and honestly, it's not. I'm just brushing that out. And then I'm going to go to the top and just do the same thing. Give myself a little arch, being that she took mine away. And make sure your face is really relaxed because if it's not and you're like this, when you are relaxed, your eyebrows are going to look really weird. So. so I'm just connecting this and extending the tail a little, just a little bit, not so much. I have a scar right here so um, I kind of like to like just fill that in a little bit with my pencil. Everybody has a preference on what they like to use, um, the Anastasia Brow Wiz. Um, me personally, I love my Wet n Wild pencil so I stick with what I am used to. So I'm going to go back, brush that again, and now I'm going to go, where is it, I'm going to go with my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. 
and this one is in crap, chocolate as you can see like it's been a while since I've done a video so let's get it together I'm only gonna take a little bit I'm using my um, angled brush and I'm just going to take a little bit of product because with this it goes a long way. You do not need a lot. We do not want thick dark eyebrows that's going to make us look crazy. So I'm going to start with the end and I'm just going to just fill that in. Like so very light strokes because you want it to look like hair you don't want it to look too like in there your face follow the line that you created and then you're gonna do a side motion you can do a side motion or you can go up like that I actually had the honor of getting my makeup done by um, Johnny MUA from Instagram and she used the pomade on me for the very first time which is the reason why I bought it and she kind of taught me how to do like the upward motion just so that it does it looks natural so that's what we're gonna do just very light strokes follow her if you are not I'll put her link on the bottom. She's an amazing makeup artist in North Carolina. So now you're just going to take the spoolie and just brush that out. Don't worry if it looks too thick for you. We're going to clean that up with concealer. This actually takes me, no lie, I want to say like 8 minutes. Um, but being because I'm doing a video and I'm explaining it, it's going to seem like it's a lot longer than that. So don't be scared that it's going to take you like your whole entire morning to do this. Um, I'm gonna go with my concealer which this is my favorite concealer right now is the Meron Pro Concealing Ring and it looks like this and as you can see I've used it all and I am going with this light shade here which I'm almost out of so I'm gonna take that and I'm just gonna go and clean underneath and just carve it out a little bit don't be scared of concealer there's no way you can mess this up all you're gonna do is just blend that out with your finger you want to use a finger and not a brush because with your finger it tends to warm up and it'll melt the product in easier okay and then I'm gonna take some more and I'm just gonna do the top just a little bit I think I went over my brow there okay. just like that clean up a little bit at the end so it's not too far extended and just a little bit on the top And with the dip brow, you don't need like a gel to set it or anything like that. You can leave it as is. Um, just the tip is just really this brush here because it kind of like just helps make it look natural. And that's really basically all I do. I'm not going to do the other eyebrow right now because um, I want you to see the difference. So this is before my eyebrow is done so it looks a little crazy you can see like the hair here and there's like no shape whatsoever and then this one here has more of a shape I wish my camera would focus better so this is them together and that's basically it so um, if you guys want to do this on your own I think this video will help you a lot this is what I used to do um, at my former job and one of the main 
things people will ask for is oh I hate my eyebrows and I want my eyebrows to look better or can you make them look like yours I mean everybody's face is different so um, but if you're doing it on yourself I think you know more or less where your arch would be so real quick your eyebrows should start here your arch should be right here like where the end of your pupil is your pupil, the, your pupil is and then your tail should be right there so it should not be here your eyebrow should not start here and your arch should not be up here so we're gonna keep it very natural this is what I do on a regular basis and that's pretty much it um, so all you need really is the spoolie brush an angled brush some concealer and um, if you want to use the dip brow pomade you can if you want to use a dark eye um, eyeshadow a dark brown eyeshadow depending on your color of your um, complexion you can do that also um, but I think the real trick is the concealer because it gives it that clean like gives you that clean face effect so another tip also if you're growing out your brows and you get you know all that hair here once you do your eyebrows and this is what I do like right now like my eyebrows are done I will go and pluck out anything that's around this area because obviously we don't need it because our hairs that we need are right here so you can delete you can um, cancel out all the hairs that are here by plucking or um, using the eyebrow razor or waxing or whatnot so yeah that's enough of my rambling so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, if you have any uh, requests let me know because I am back in the game and um, I will be doing more videos from now and later I'm gonna do um, a quick face uh, tuto makeup tutorial being that I'm gonna go pick up my daughter now and I don't um, have really half an hour to do so so I'm just gonna show you a really quick way of how I do my makeup for the mommies out there that want to look put together but don't have the time to be put together um, full face glam so um, alright that's done I'm done so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and please subscribe if you haven't follow me on my social media and I will talk to you guys later Mwah. love you bye